What is happening, guys? Welcome back. Last episode, we took out a few bosses. A few, uh, there weren't big bosses by any chance. They were just like mini bosses. Uh, but they still were kind of a... I mean, I wouldn't say a challenge, but definitely you had to think a little bit to take them out. Uh, but this new build is coming out. is working really, really well. So that's very, very beneficial. But we did get the gate open, so I'm hoping this gate leads to the beacon that is down here that we saw on the cliff. And it looks like a big boss arena too up here, so I'm guessing there's going to be a pretty important boss up here. Had to add a kick in there for style. Now we did get something that takes away frostbite. I want to make sure it's not a ring we can put on. Okay, it's not a ring, sadly. Shoot. Yeah, I was hoping it was just like a ring we could like put on that would help frostbite, but sadly that ain't the case. It's not the case. Frostbite resistance. Okay, so we get bomb resistance bomb. That might be good to put on. I mean, we, we do have a spell that takes away status effects. I believe I put that on... Oh, no, wait. No, we don't. Did I, I took that off? Why would I take that off? <laughs> well, shit. Uh, that would have been a good one to keep on, Sean. <laughs> I don't know why I took that one off. Well, I can... Oh, yeah. In this game, you don't have to be a grace. You can put them on any time. That's good. Um, let's see. Cleansing Spring is 72 mana. Healing is 96, so probably that. Considering healing, you're not going to get... I mean, uh, yeah. Bless the ground with Holy Signal, which heals and cleanses the status effects of any allies. Oh, just allies, not yourself? Damn. Well, that is useless for myself, then. Yeah, let's put Cleansing Spring on. I like though how you don't have to be at a grace to change these. I, for, I keep forgetting that. I keep forgetting that you can just switch these on demand. It's another really cool feature about this game. See, I'm starting to like things about this game. <laughs> it only took us like 30 something episodes. Hmm. Another one of you. How do you swing way back there? Nothing for my big faith sword, that's for sure. Uh, I saw an archer. Somewhere. Oh, there he is. Stealth archers, man. Alright, shortcut. I'm hoping this takes us right to the beacon. A lot of, a lot of moths here. Why are there so many moths here, I wonder? We do have to get this too. Nope, wrong spell. I gotta remember, I switched these around and screwing with my mind here. Okay. Can I just jump off here or not? I'd like to plant a flower if I could. Before entering an area like this. It's so hard to see where I can plant flowers here though in the snow. At least the other maps, you know, they were dark and you could kind of like tell. This one is just... Yeah, they went... Mm, what is that? No. Oh. Alright, well, I guess there's no flower place. Down to four flasks.
Probably need to go to Umbral for this, I'm guessing. Considering there's a lot of moths here. What is that? What is that? Looks like a sword. Just laying here. That has to be a glitch. Oh no. Oh no. We still have not fought one of these faces yet. I don't, because I don't know how to fight them. <laughs> I mean, they open up their mouth only every now and then, and that's the only time you can do damage. I'm wondering maybe scouring? things just suck. No, wrong one. Oh man, this is bad. Sunken Breacher, whatever that is. Let's run by him. Bed. Oh, yeah. Yeah, honestly, those faces just are not worth taking out. I mean, they do too much dread damage to you, and they're just, I don't know, they're just a pain in the ass. And it sucks you have to be in the Umbral Realm, and I don't know. Just, I do not like those enemies. Just a weird enemy. Oh, no. Well, that's uh, not a big deal. <laughs> I don't know. Must have hit skip back twice and I jumped back. I did. I did. Exactly what happened. All right. Shortcut up here, right there. Nice. Grab that shortcut real quick. King's Range Rebel's Hammer. Yeah, I thought about doing a hammer build, but uh, ended up finding this amazing sword, so I was like, yeah, now nah, we're going with the sword. So let's check this place out with. Make sure there's no way to go inside this place. Alright. Uh, you are being buffed by something. That was convenient. Man, this sword is so good. And for those of you that are wondering what we're using, we're using the Bloody Glory. It's only a plus seven. <laughs> oh, we're dead. I guess we were supposed to die there, maybe? Halting? That was a very unfortunate... Well, I mean, we needed to take Kuda um Umbral anyway here. Maybe that's why they killed us right there, because the player didn't, wouldn't know what to do otherwise. Possible.
Can I plant one here? All right. Yeah, we still have how many? Two? Got two left. Looks like we got some dogs up here, maybe? And also an archer. I knew it. Another archer over here. Damn it. Love how she tried to walk away. Like, I'm just gonna stop attacking you and try to walk away. <laughs> Mimic. See, we're getting trained. Our eye is being trained. It's been a while since we've fallen for one of those. Actually, I think we fell for one a couple episodes ago. Uh, okay, so the back side of this. Okay, so we're working our way around into the back side of this. I'm guessing there's going to be a boss over there or something. Hopefully not on that bridge. That would be an annoying boss fight. Oh, there's an eye here. Yeah, or a face here. We're not fight we're not gonna face that. Uh man, but there's one of these. Oh wait, is that Byram? Light fire? There you go, Byram. Oh, that's better. Oh no way, that's Dresden. <laughs> My fingers and toes are going all tingly. <laughs> When I get to the castle, maybe me and Melkia could live there forever, instead of moving somewhere new like we always do. I'd like to live in a castle. When I get to the castle, maybe me and Melkia could live there forever, instead of moving... I'd like to live in a castle. All right. Um, down? I saw you. I saw you. Oh no. Uh, this is. Oh, that's why. Saw you over here. <laughs> Dude, he got mad at me. I was like wailing on him, like gonna take him out, and he was like, no, I'm not gonna let that happen. I'm just like totally go ape shit on me. That's insane. Okay, I'm gonna need to shoot down you. Actually, be better to have the smaller spell on. I mean, the smaller one doesn't nearly cost well, 16 to 29. I wonder what the damage difference is for those. Can I plant a seed down here? All right. And you know what? While we're here, let's go get more seeds. Because we're down to one left. And usually when we're down to one, if we have more than like 5,000 runes, I'd like to come back and buy one just for the heck of it.
I think this controller is just about dead on me. Bearer of the lamp. Like you, I serve. I've had this controller for like, you know, three, four years almost, so it's it's served me well, but it's definitely been through its fair share. Might be time to retire this controller. <laughs> Especially when my bumper is not uh, working properly. Probably from all the Sekiro I played with this. I mean, when you're tapping this button in Sekiro. Yeah, that's that's got to be... I don't know. The thing is, controllers are not cheap. <laughs> I mean, the Series X ones are the best ones, too. They're the, they're the... I just love those ones. I mean, eventually I'd like to get an Elite. I think Elites would be the next option, but... Leads are so damn expensive. I'm gonna look around Black Friday for one, I think. Alright, uh, which way did we go through here? We got, oh yeah, we knocked in this item right here. Regular delirium, okay. Did we go back there and collect that item? I know we knocked it down, did we collect it? Yeah, we did, okay. Alright. Um, before... Just a second here. How many delirium chunks do we have? Upgrade materials. Where are they at? Ooh. Large delirium shard. We might be able to level this. Um, just to hold on a second. We might be able to level this up here. This game does a, does a stupid job of telling you how much you need left for an upgrade. But, uh, unless I'm reading something wrong, I just find it extremely hard to figure out, like, how much left I need to upgrade. So I just make a habit to come back here every few times. Insufficient materials. Like, do you guys see? I don't see anywhere on the screen where it says how much I need. Like, it does not say anywhere on there. It says how much I have, but it does not say how much I need. I just don't get it. Why would they not? Mm, it's so annoying. All right, so we got four seeds. We're good to go. Find our way into this castle or wherever we're supposed to go. Umbral, maybe? <laughs> oh, wait. What is all that? Maybe back here? Oh, we're supposed to go all the way around, I guess. What do we got? Any dogs here? Probably. They love to throw dogs at you. Oh, worse, an archer. Yep. Definitely worse than a dog. Definitely worse. garden way out here. I mean, I mean, that sneaks up on me and pushes me off to something like what patches would do. Glacier ring. Oh, what are we talking about here? A ring featuring a jewel increases resistance to frostbite. That's what we need right here. Uh, yeah, let's put that on. I need my equip, lo equip load one. I 
I feel like by now too, with 25 endurance, we should be fine with the without the turtle talisman. I say turtle talisman, but you guys know what I mean. Oh yeah, that's better resistance. A lot better resistance, yeah. I like it. Bro. Well, the ring kind of saved our lives there, so... I think that was pretty successful. One flask left. At least they're generous with bonfire places. I'm happy about that. Sometimes games have such bad runbacks, and that's just super annoying. Especially when you spend so much time clearing out all the enemies and taking your time and it's like when you die and have to run by everything, it just doesn't feel immer as immersive. Uh, this looks like it could be a boss. Alright, I'm definitely gonna buff up here. That's nowhere near- oh, that's good ring. This ring works real well. Crazy is here in Umbral, that's weird. Oh? Oh? Oh, right over here. It's like, duh. Alright, look for archers first, because, you know, there's going to be archers here. You have them everywhere else in the game. Unless they settle down with that, maybe. Yeah, find it kind of weird, man. <laughs> find it weird that there's no archers here. I feel like we gotta be getting close to a boss, though. We're getting real close to this beacon. Yeah, I knew it. Bro, Frostbite is terrible. Status effects in this game, dude. They are something. Um. Nope, wrong one. Shit. Yeah, I gotta remember which one I have these placed on as. <laughs> Ancestor's sword. Just 
take a look at it. Ancestor's sword. I don't even see it. Oh, right there. It's a grand sword. Doesn't look as cool as ours, though, that's for sure. Ah, uh, definitely not. Okay, we ran through there, one over here. All right, now it's time to go to Umbral because I'm guessing we can't go through here. Yep, time for Umbral. I'd like to get my health topped up before going down there. Without using a flask. There any okay there we go. There we go. Now my health's full. Okay, that's a shortcut to kick down. Child sword. Mimic? Nope. Ooh, two chunks, nice. Might be able to upgrade a level here. Okay, there's a lot of faces here. Not even gonna worry about that. Bullshit here. Can we open the door? Nope. Uh, we're up here, maybe? Oh my. Come on. Come back. Thank you. And that archer's still here, isn't he? Where's he at? Oh, chest. Box of... Ooh, upgrade materials. Nice. Upgrade material. Oh, no, wait. That's trousers and stuff. Huh. 
And the one flask left. I need to find a flower. Need to find a flower bed. Oh, that's a vestige. Even better. All right, vestige of Loash. And I'm nine thousand. I'm gonna level. All right, we're at thirty-two minutes. It looks like we're really close to that beacon now, like really close. I feel like we can run right over there and light it. Uh, how hard would that be, I wonder? <laughs> Wait, is this all connected or not? I don't think so. Nope, that's not connected. Let's just see if it's, uh... Shortcut. Hmm. What happens if I drop down there, I wonder? I need to go to Umbral for that scouring. I might have to, though. Do I need to wait till that thing's done until I go back? <laughs> I don't know if I have to wait or not, but... I'm guessing I have to go to Umbral now for this. Or not. I'm thinking I do. Alright. Oh no, wait. This is. We've been here. This is. Never mind, this is... This is not even the right area. Oh, I did kick down a shortcut somewhere here. Back here, was it?
Hmm. So, we get to the beacon, man. Do we have to go maybe this way? Oh, okay. Boss fight. All right. What the heck is this thing? Oh man, we look badass. Like we're walking in like, what do we got now? <laughs> What's on the agenda to take out today? I see I got myself a bird thing to take out. Bird thing with claws and a skeleton face. What is this? <laughs> Looks like my ex-wife. Back in my age, they called these things a griffin. Alright, let's take it out. Okay then. Is that the boss or what's the boss here? Not the boss. Obviously Griffin is the boss. <laughs> Maybe she's the boss? Nope. Oh, wait, what's back there? Oh, that's a fog door. Hmm. Am I supposed to pull her in, maybe? What am I supposed to do here? I supposed to destroy the icicles, maybe? Let's try destroying the icicles. See if that does anything. Do anything? I don't know what I'm supposed to be doing here. Oh, maybe Umbral? Let's go to Umbral. Oh. Okay, so we're supposed to be an umbral for this fight, which is not good because we only have one life then. I don't even know how to dodge that. Pretty bad. Hmm. We're gonna try to attack her again. Where can I hide? Dude, how do I dodge this? I might look up a guide for this fight. Because <laughs> I don't know what I'm supposed to be doing here. Hollow Crow.
I think I'm gonna look up a guide for this because I don't I don't understand it. <laughs> I mean, it doesn't make sense. How how in the world are you supposed to dodge the AOE attack? Um, let's just try one more time before we look at a guide. Maybe I missed something, but. Can we attack you first? No. So we have to be an umbral for this. There's no other way around that. I'm wondering if we're supposed to pull these off the wall. Let's try pulling them off the wall. I don't know why that would make a difference, but uh, I'm just trying things. All right, now let's try attacking her. Okay, she's gonna vanish and he's gonna do an AoE thing. Let's hang out by the wall, maybe. Nope, we still take monstrous amounts of damage. Look at that, guys. That is ridiculous. Bro, that's insane. I don't understand this one bit. Like, there's not much to this. Like, you can't target the crow. Can I suck you in or something? Maybe I can pull... supposed to do wither damage maybe we're dead I mean we have no flask left hmm. okay what if it's okay what if the things are on the wall to get it back the charge so you use your Spirit things, get a charge. Use your spirit things, get a charge. wonder if that's how you do it. Let's try that stat strat. But I don't understand how we don't take damage. Though. How, how do you how do you not go take damage here for this? Oh, wait. Oh, we're supposed to stay inside the circle. Oh! Stay inside the circle and then we don't get hurt. Okay, we got this. It's another gimmick fight, but... Uh, we got this. Just run around, maybe, and just dodge, maybe, while he's doing this. I wonder if I'm just supposed to dodge during this. Okay, 
Okay, she's back. That's insane, guys. That's a really damn hard boss. I think we got the I think we know how to do it though now. But man, that's there's a lot to it. There's a lot to that. My question is, do you have to start an umbral though? Can you can you do it without being an umbral? But you only way you can give her damage though. This be heal. It's definitely better to use a charge to get her with her damage. Can I lock on to anything or not? Or do I, do I just run and dodge? I'm thinking I just run and dodge here. That is a crazy boss fight. And it's a gimmick boss. Imagine that. Another freaking gimmick boss. They don't know how to design a, just a boss without gimmicks. Like, the mini bosses are so much more fun than the gimmick bosses. Like, seriously, all the main bosses have been gimmicks. <sighs> well, let's call it there for today. Um, I might look at, look at a guide even to see if there's an easier way to go about that fight, because that's insane. That's absolutely insane. Alright guys, stay tuned, much more coming soon.